The Ghastly Reigns is an item in Diablo 4 that unlocks the Spectral Charger Mount. This guide will cover how to give yourself the best odds of obtaining that mount and as usual, useful timestamps can be found in the video description. The Ghastly Reigns has a very small chance of dropping at the end of any Gathering Legion's live event. These events occur periodically in the open world, around 1-2 to two times an hour, and can take place at one of five different locations scattered across the map. Two of these locations, Core Dragon and Crusader's Monument, require completion of a Stronghold event at each respective location first, and these can be done at any time. Five minutes before a Gathering Legion's event starts, an icon and countdown timer will appear on the map at the location it's going to happen. That means you'll want to check your map regularly for the best chance of catching these events before they happen. In addition, to consistently reach each Gathering Legion's location, you'll want to activate one of the waypoints that are near each for quicker travel. As a quick tip, if you show up to an event before it starts, try to find and stand next to a campfire while you wait. It will grant a stacking buff that temporarily boosts XP gained from defeating monsters. Successfully completing all objectives in the Gathering Legions event gives you the best odds of getting the Ghastly Reigns, so let's cover how to do that. The first phase of the event is broken into two parts. The first is to slay enemies to provoke the Servants of Hell within a set amount of time. For this, pay attention to the minimap and go towards the pulsing circles, as that is where the enemies are spawning. You'll often find that there are two trails of enemy spawners to follow, so try to split up evenly with other players to divide and conquer all locations within the time limit. Once you've completely filled up the progress bar, you'll move on to the second part of the first phase, where a Servant of Hell will spawn in and must be defeated within the time limit. The Servant will spawn alongside three structures, indicated on the minimap by diamond symbols. These all must be destroyed before the Servant can be damaged. Once those are dealt with, the Servant will quickly follow suit. After the first Servant is defeated, you'll have to start the process over again for the second and finally the third Servant. While the process is similar, the difficulty of enemies will increase and the time limit will decrease. You'll want to do your best though as the number of reward chests at the end of the event is determined by the number of Servants defeated, with a maximum of three chests. After defeating all three servants, or failing to do so before the time limit runs out, the second major phase of the event will start, and an overlord will spawn at the location indicated on the minimap. In order to get the best rewards, all major bosses will need to be defeated. If your group's damage is lacking, focus all damage on a single boss to have the best odds of defeating at least one. Once the event ends, a number of chests with loot of varying quality will appear depending on how well you did. Even with a flawless completion of the Gathering Legions event, your odds of finding the Ghastly Reigns are pretty low and the amount of event completions needed to finally get it will vary from person to person. For example, I played in a full group for the majority of the game. The first one of us to get this mount was level 38 when it happened, meanwhile, I didn't find one for myself until level 57. At that point, all three of my other party members had already gotten it many hours earlier. In any case, the Gathering Legions events are a fairly good source of both XP and loot, especially early on, so just stay patient and participate in these events whenever you see one. Eventually, you'll find your Spectral Steed. Once you do get those Ghastly Reigns, use the item in your inventory and then go to the stables at any town to equip it. Even if you have the mount, you won't be able to use it until you've completed the Donan's Favor quest. This quest is made available shortly after starting Act 4 of the main story, which can be accessed after completing all main quests in Acts 1, 2, and 3. You can equip any armor or trophy to the Spectral Charger, including the thematically appropriate bone mail, which is only obtainable through the in-game shop. However, I personally like the Pale Barding, which I found during a Helltide in a Tortured Gifts of Mysteries chest just outside of Kiovashad. If you want to see more great guides, you can head over to my channel, and if you're new, consider subscribing. You're helping me feed my cat, her name's Marshmallow. Have a great day, if you're here today, have a great Tuesday, and as always, thanks for watching.